So in the previous video we talked about specific heat capacity, or specific heat, and then we took a look at this equation Q equals Cm delta T, where Q equals heat energy measured in joules, C is the specific heat of a substance measured in joules per gram degree Celsius, M is mass, and delta T is change in temperature. We also took a look at this chart from the text showing the specific heat of a select group of substances. So now that we have that, let's put it to work. I am going to take 25 grams of iron and I want to raise its temperature by 50 degrees Celsius. This question is asking how much heat energy is required to do that. So when we approach this problem, there are a couple things that we're going to need. We're going to use this equation we've talked about, Q equals Cm delta T, and we're going to need to know a specific heat value. In particular, we're going to look for the specific heat value of iron here. So we're going to use this value, 0.449 joules per gram degree Celsius. Remember, these are our units for specific heat, joules per gram degree Celsius. So when we're looking at this equation, Q equals Cm delta T, remember Q is heat, or heat energy, and that's going to be measured in joules. C is the specific heat value that we just talked about. And that is measured in joules per gram degrees Celsius. Then these two should be familiar to us. M is mass, and that's in grams, and delta T is the change in temperature, and that's in degrees Celsius. So when this question asks us how much energy is required, this question is asking us to solve for Q. And so all we have to do is plug in the other values. So we're going to say Q equals C. So the specific heat we're going to use is that of iron. We've been using 4.184 in our previous problems, but that's water. So in this problem, we're going to use 0 0.449 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And then the mass of this sample is 25 grams, and the change in temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. And the good thing about putting your units is that you can actually cancel them out. So I've got grams on the bottom here, and I'm multiplying by grams, so those cancel out. And I've got degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius here, so those cancel out. And that's going to leave me in joules, and we're solving for heat energy, which should be in joules. So everything looks good. So when I plug these values into my calculator, I get 561.25. But if I look at my data, I see that everything has three sig figs. So I'm going to round this to 561, and my units will be joules.